Hey, do you want to die sooner? Do you want to know the secret of a shorter life? Hmm? Get angry. There. Does that make you mad? Because if it does, you're going to die faster. Let me just put it to you straight here. When the Bible counsels us about anger management, it's not just on some higher ground, be the bigger person, morality, and a good Christian approach kind of thing, though it is. Controlling your anger is also a health and longevity thing, because anger has been found to weaken our immune system, leading to issues like high blood pressure, insomnia, headaches, problem with digestion, heart attacks, and strokes. There was one study from Harvard that tracked chronically hostile men and found their anger issues made them three times more likely to develop heart disease. There's an old story of a doctor in the 18th century named John Hunter who served King George III personally. Dr. Hunter also suffered from angina, or angina, tomato, tomato, <laughs> basically angina's chest pain. Dr. Hunter noticed that his angina attacks were often anger-induced. When he got mad, he got chest pains. And he, this is what he said, my life is at the mercy of any scoundrel who chooses to put me in a passion. Shortly after making this statement at a board meeting for St. George's Hospital in London, he got really angry and got into it with the other board members, walked out of the meeting, and dropped dead right on the spot. Serious stuff. So many verses in the Bible counsel us about anger. Ecclesiastes says, Do not be quickly provoked in your spirit, for anger resides in the lap of fools. And Proverbs will call you a dummy too, when it says, A fool gives full vent to his anger, but a wise man keeps himself under control. Some of you may remember the uh, incredible Hulk TV show where mild-mannered David Banner was famous for saying, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Now, I'm not going to say this to the Hulk face to face, but that's kind of a victim statement. You know, well, it's your fault that I turned big, green, and ugly. You made me mad. There's an old Greek philosopher named Epictetus who says, any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. Interestingly enough, Epictetus was born a slave who was set free shortly after Nero's death in Rome. So when he talks about people making you their slave by making you angry, I don't think he's speaking all that metaphorically. Hey, that person that made you furious at work, your master. The car that cut you off on the way home, got mad? Yeah, okay, say hello to your new owner because that person owns you. One last Bible verse from James where he says, Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. When we slow down our anger processes, it produces a better life in us. Our first response when we feel ourselves starting to get mad should be immediate emergency prayer. Go to God first instead of being a victim, and you'll experience more of the abundant life Jesus offers. Get mad, die sooner. Stay cool, live longer.